Hey everybody, Andrew from Pew Brothers. Today's the second to last day of October, and I found it fitting to do an Oktoberfest, but as it pertains to guns. Now, you think Oktoberfest, you think of Germany, so let's go ahead and get into it, and let me show you the first gun that I'm going to talk about as it pertains to German firearm manufacturers. Put in the comments below what you think about these guys. First up, the HK VP9. I owned one of these guns uh, back in the... 2011 2012 somewhere along there i couldn't get into the ergonomics of the grip here and i did not like if you see these two little leaves here did not like the magazine release in addition to that i wasn't crazy about the slide release over here um or on this side you can do it on either um it just never really filled that niche for me now this is an updated version it's optics ready like most firearms come to the market now are but it never really filled the void for me. However, there's still a huge HK following. I say still because for the most part, 90s and the two, early 2000s, HK was a premium firearm manufacturer that most manufacturers couldn't touch. To a great debate, Glock was very much so subpar. That brings others into the German market. Here we have the PDP by Walther. Now this, in my opinion, shares some of the same ergonomic features as the VP9 does, so I'm not really a fan. And it also has this very large slide release here. However, I do like the serrations, the trigger, and its conventional mag release as far as I'm accustomed to. Now, out of these two guns right here, we have one other German manufacturer that we'd like to show you. American Tactical. Made in Germany. German sport guns. Alright guys, that was just a little bit of a trolley plot twist. Now, the gun that most of you guys were thinking about that was going to come next was 6 hour P320, P365. These guns right here, in my opinion, are leading the market. Since SIG introduced their P3 series, all the 320 and their different models, as well as the 365, they've really hit a new market. Traditionally, SIG was a higher-end handgun. We were looking at the P226s, the P229s, and, and all those series in there, unless you're talking about the 250, which was a huge flop. Um, but I do want to know what you think about these three different manufacturers and their firearms in the comments below. Now, this is just one of the mini models that the SIG P320 comes in. This is the X5 Legion, and man, it is sweet. I like the ergonomics, the ease of slide release, the controls on here are phenomenal, and the grip angle is just absolutely my favorite. Best feature of the gun, this trigger. It's great, guys. All right, let me know what you want in the comments. It's meant to be a short video. Put them down below. We have the rifle launching November the 6th next week here at Money Quick. Can't wait to see you there. This is a huge project coming out. We also have Pew Brothers merch. Stay tuned. We love you. As always, plank responsibly.